Good morning and welcome to the channel. I'm in the beautiful Cotswold village of Stanton near Broadway. And it's a classic Cotswold village. Some of it dating back to the medieval times. 18th century houses, beautiful church, St Michael's and a fantastic pub at Mount that we'll be going to see later. It's a beautiful afternoon, bright, bit of sunshine. So come with me and let's explore this idyllic village of Stanton together. We don't know when the earliest settlement at Stanton was established, but there was farming taking place in the area as early as 2500 BC. We do know that there must have been a settlement here by the 9th century, and probably long before that date. In AD 811, King Canulf gave the living of Stanton to the Abbey of Winchcombe, which he had founded just 13 years earlier. Stanton is mentioned in the Doomsday Book as land of the Church of Winchcombe. When the abbey was suppressed by Henry VIII, Stanton Manor was granted to Queen Catherine Parr as part of her dowry. Now, one of the most interesting later owners of the manor was Philip Stott, an architect and engineer who made a fortune building cotton mills. The family also owned Stanton Court, and lived there from 1906 to 1949. Stott acted as a major benefactor, installing lamps in the main street powered by a generator in his home of Stanton Court. Stott was responsible for renovating Stanton Court and many of the houses in the village, which had become dilapidated over the years. Philip Stott paid for improvements just about every aspect of village life, from a new cricket field an extension to the school and a swimming pool for local children. So the village gets its name from an old English word for stone, which is stan, S-T-A-N. And you, you get stanway in other villages in the Cotswolds with the S-T-A-N prefix. And obviously this village, you'll see and pretty much 100% of it is built with limestone, honey-coloured uh, stone, and um, it, it looks untouched in the last few hundred years because of so. Everything is is made from this beautiful stone, which we're gonna which we're gonna go and enjoy. Now we're just coming up to one of the entrances for Stanton Court, which I mentioned earlier. This is a grade two listed Jacobean building, originally built for the Izod family in the early 17th century. The Izod family originally came from Chapel Izod, County Kilkenny in Ireland. 
It went up for sale in 2023, and the listed guide price was a mere £14 million. The Stanton remains largely unchanged since Stott's renovations over a century ago. There's no shops, there's no tourist attractions other than the Mount Inn, which sits on top of a hill at one end of the village. It's a quiet, peaceful place, occasionally visited by tourists. And as the Cotswold Way goes through the village, you do get walkers about the place, but generally it's well off the beaten track. In many ways, apart from the obvious cars, there's no other signs of modern life. It's the village that time forgot, you could say. Now this is the Stanton Cross and Sundial. The cross is a Grade II listed scheduled monument with cavalry steps that are medieval and form the basis of a wayside cross. The shaft is later and the dial orb and cross perhaps later still. It's unusual that it includes a sundial dating to the 17th century. Now, just off the high street, up this little lane, we'll come to the church of St. Michael and the All Angels. There's also another gate to the um, Stanton Court. Though the earliest architectural features date to the 12th century, there was probably a church here as early as AD 811, when King Canuf of Mercia gave the living of Stanton to Winchcombe Abbey. Two bays of Norman arcade survive in the North Isle. And in the North transept is what remains of a medieval screen. Charles and John Wesley visited Stanton frequently as guests of the rectors. John Wesley, in fact, fell in love with the rector's daughter, but she refused his offer of marriage.
Now we're coming to what's known as Sheppy Corner. Sheppy Corner is a Grade Two listed thatched cottage constructed around 1650, and it appears on many Cotswold calendars and postcards. Although it was originally built as one big house and barn, it's now divided into three separate cottages: the Cloisters, Sheppy Cottage, and Pixie Cottage.
So, we're coming towards the end of our walk through Stanton. And as always, we found a pub. It's the Mount Inn. It's a beautiful pub, some great views. I'm gonna pop up there, have a drink, do some filming, and yeah, show you what it's like. But this is an idyllic Cotswold village, classic Cotswolds, Stanton. Come and see it, it's near Broadway, right in the middle of the Cotswolds. You can't get more Cotswolds than this. Let's go and have a look at the Mount Inn and uh, see if it's open for business, which I'm sure it is. There's some people sat up there. Don't know if the camera's picking it up. A few people sat outside. As always, weather's not perfect, but it's a pretty, pretty dry day. And yeah, the views across are fantastic. So let's go and have a look. So this is the mount again from the other side. Nice beer garden there. Lovely summer days, you can sit out there. Not very busy today, but normally it's packed. And there's a view across Cotswold Hills. See the top of the rooftops. And here's the pub, the Mount Inn. Beautiful hanging baskets. Look at those. Let's go and have a look inside, shall we? Here we go. So the sun's come out, I thought I'd show you the view from where I'm sitting, this is the Mount Inn, 17th century, marvellous pub. And you can see across to the Malvern Hills, the Vale of Isham. You can even see the Black Mountain sometimes. It's a truly wonderful place to have a little break and just soak in that marvellous view. One of the other lovely things about Stanton is that, especially in the summer, the flowers, the gardens, the colour. I mean, look at these, are they Michaelmas daisies? The roses growing over the doors. You know, it, it's just absolute classic Cotswold picture postcard perfection. And try saying that after you've had a pint of ale at the uh, Mount Inn. But yeah, a beautiful place, so much character, so much charm, and yeah, lovely flowers and plants and gardens. You've got to come here. It is an exceptional village, and I absolutely love Stanton. I really do.
So we're almost back where we started at the edge of the village and I hope you've really enjoyed my tour of Stanton, we've been to the church, we've been to up the high street, we've obviously been to the Mount Inn. I hope I've been able to capture some of this charm that oozes from this village and I hope you agree with me that it's a village that time has forgotten almost. Apart from those cars, it's very, very um, unspoiled and there's uh, a lovely lack of um, modern life to it. I'll say goodbye here. I hope you will come back and watch another video soon. I'm going to be making plenty more videos and uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. It really makes a difference to the channel and click that notification bell. It's free, you'll never miss another video. I'll say goodbye then folks. Thanks again for watching. Come and visit Stanton. See this beauty for yourself. And I'll see you for another video very soon. Bye for now, bye bye.